Norway. It's the country located in the north of Europe, close to Sweden, Finland and Russia, right here, between the Norwegian Sea and the North Sea. The first idea that comes to people's mind when Norway is mentioned is about Vikings. It is very nice that Vikings ruled Norway for around 250 years. Norway is very famous for counting with a historical Viking heritage. However, it is not very known about this country is recognized for its educational system or infrastructure and some other cultural aspects. My name is Jesus Osvaldo and I will introduce you to the sociocultural context in Norway. But first of all, what is Norway? Norway is a European state that was set off on July 17th in 1821. This is governed by a parliamentary democratic monarchy. In other words, a sovereign head of state, a monarch, that has the power to exercise the authorities in the state. Norway counts with 19 provinces, or called Filkesh in Norwegian, and Oslo as its main capital. Its principal language is Norwegian. This is a North Germanic language and shares similarities with Swedish and Danish. Norway is spoken by the 95% of the population and the English language is preferred to be chosen as their second one. Its Norwegian flag is used to represent such country and is based on the designs from the Danish and Swedish flags. Its colors, white, red and blue, represent their peace, strength and loyalty. The main activities found in Norway are hiking, fishing and skiing. Norway has a perfect natural environment for the performance of hiking and skiing and the coldest waters to the fishing activity, being this one the most important for the Norwegian economy. I am Alex, now it's my turn and I'm going to present the educational system in Norway. First of all, the basic education is formed by the primary school, then lower secondary school and finally upper secondary school. The ages of assistant school are from 6 to 16, and school years runs from August to mid-June and consists of two semesters with a Christmas holiday. In primary school, children begin at the age of 6 and leave at the age of 12. The primary school covers seven grades. In the first grade, children are taught with educational games. They develop social skills and learn the basic content like in the kindergarten. From the second to the seventh grade, students receive all the knowledge and the subjects are several, including maths and gymnastics. Children don't get official grades during primary school, however, teachers often write comments and unofficial grades on tests to show progress. Norwegian lower secondary school begins at the age of 12 and lasts for 3 years. At this level, students already receive grades and they have to keep good grades in order to attend to upper secondary school. Upper secondary school consists in 3 more years and it is optional. What does it mean? This is that upper secondary school is not mandatory, but according to the job marketing of Norway, upper secondary school is a requirement to can get a job. Since 2005, Norwegian law was established in order to make private schools illegal, unless these schools provide religious content. Therefore, the 93% of students from upper secondary schools attend to public schools. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm going to tell you about Norwegian teachers. A general Norwegian teacher has a goal to assist a student to find their professional vocation among a variety of educational subjects. The general competence that Norwegian teachers need to acquire are subject competence, didactic competence, social competence, adaptive and developmental competence, and professional ethic competence. From the total of primary schools in Norway, 5% of these are religious. All of these schools have the freedom to select their own books and programs, in which it may suppose that these institutions are not regulated by the corresponding authorities. However, every program made by those schools needs to be revised by the Ministry of Education and his people in order to be approved. In a certain extent, those programs might not follow the speed way, and as a consequence, the schools might lose their licenses. The free basic education in Norway involves 13 years, in Mexico only are 9. Norway scores one of the highest levels of adult literacy in the world. Mexico has lack in that. In Mexico, there is an overpopulation of students per classroom. In Norway, the number of population per classroom is only 10. Free.
created using Powtoon.